North Korea is warning foreigners to evacuate from South Korea in case of war, the latest escalation of threats from the country. Japan, meanwhile, has deployed Patriot missiles in key areas around Tokyo as a precaution against possible North Korean ballistic missile tests. Well, let's talk now to Ryan Dawson, a journalist who specialises in covering events in Asia. Thank you very much for your time, Mr Dawson. Firstly, I mean, South Korea did backtrack uh, earlier on claims that Pyongyang is planning any sort of uh, test, but does Japan Japan deploying these missile interceptors suggests that perhaps they know something that uh, Seoul doesn't. I don't think they know anything that South Korea doesn't know. Japan's taking this precaution. Um, it's a little silly to put them all around Tokyo. The main targets for North Korea would obviously be the U.S. bases in Okinawa, but it's it's a method of just spending more money on Patriot systems, just profiteering. And could that deployment by Japan be seen as a? as a provocative uh, move, really, by North Korea, when tensions are already very high? Sure, it could be, but the Abe's, Shinzo Abe's real reason for doing it is bolstering his own support from his Japanese base to look tough against his stance against North Korea. And North Korea, I mean, moving on, North Korea's evacuation warning to foreigners in Seoul, do you think this is them just ramping things up a little, another loud threat, or have things really escalated again? No, this time I think this is very serious. You know, every March or so we always have some saber rattling and there's lots of armaments sold on all sides uh, with Boeing and Lockheed's, you know, Osprey aircraft and their F-22s and 35s. But this is a little different. This has never happened before, an evacuation. You know, the U.S. and South Korea are jointly playing war games again in North Korea's backyard with assimilated takeover and occupation of North Korea, they sent B-2 bombers, which contained the Moab bombs, which can are bunker busters, and, and threatening North Korea. And so this is not something to take lightly. This isn't just simple arms procurement this time. This is very serious. And just on the situation with the US, why do you think they are sending these mixed signals? You just mentioned there that they're carrying out this very large exercise, but at the same time they recently uh, delayed a ballistic missiles test. So on the one hand they seem to be doing what they can to defuse the situation, on another hand they seem to be raising tensions, don't they? Well I think perhaps the US's goal in the beginning was to keep protection away from defence cuts. They had to sequester and there was threats that defense spending was going to be cut. They used North Korea as the convenient boogeyman and they went a little too far. Now they're having to backpedal because North Korea is frightened and taking these threats very seriously. So what does everybody have to do? What do the sides have to do to defuse the situation? They're probably not going to do it, but they need to speak to each other. There needs to be a dialogue. They cannot just simply reject North Korea and be dismissive and say they're crazy. They need to be speaking to Kim Jong-un and they need to defuse the situation and maybe lift some of the sanctions or things that can be put on the table that could be used as leverage to get things peaceful and to back down from this escalation. However, we need cooler heads to prevail and to get rid of a lot of this machismo on all sides, South and North Korea and the United States. And just briefly, another development uh, recently was the shutting down of the shared industrial zone by North Korea, the one they shared with South Korea. What sort of impact could that have, do you think, um, for both Pyongyang and Seoul? It will probably be worse for North Korea, uh, for their economy. Of course, with this evacuation warning, that's going to affect South Korea as well. But. I mean, this, they're mutually just harming one another, and we really need dialogue. This needs to be taken seriously. Perhaps we need more of the international community to get involved. We don't have such a stake in it with the bases and the, with the monetary incentives to escalate this hot spot. OK, Mr Dawson, we do have to leave it there. That's Ryan Dawson, a journalist specialising in Asian issues. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome.